you're looking at some of the world's greatest distance runners. They've broken records and won numerous medals. The train in Eldoret, in the Rift Valley, 2,000 meters above sea level. Kaptagat Training Camp has produced some of the most successful athletes ever. Life in the camp is simple and serene. These are athletes who live and breathe athletics. The exercises are intense, but they do it with so much poise and grace. They run, train, relax, and then repeat. It's amazing to watch. Eliud Kipchoge is the world's fastest male marathon runner. This has been his home for the last 17 years. But he's worried about the sport. Kenya is grappling with a serious doping problem. Dozens of athletes have been banned for illegal drug offenses in the last few years. I think the, uh, the anti-doping measures are really enough. If they change the, their tactics from giving more education to more testing. But if you give education on, on many things and you are not testing, then it's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's like we are doing nothing. But, uh, but, but it's good to, to, to get knowledge, but it's good also to be practical. Faith Kipiagon trains alongside Kipchoge, the men's champion. She recently broke two world records in a week. She's also worried about doping, sexual exploitation, and increasing violence against women athletes. I can say it's all about education. Uh, it's all about education. If we have uh, our mentors, mother mentors, to mentor the young girls and young women, I hope we will, strong, uh, we will be uh, strong as women. These are issues they often talk about, and they say they're determined to inspire and nurture young talent to restore the reputation of the region of champions. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kaptagat, Kenya.